I'm Sandra Thompson, Executive Director of the ACORN. And tonight we are doing our live streaming from the ACORN stage. It's beyond exciting. We have not had a live event here in over two months. So to have this happening tonight is really, really, it's thrilling to be back here on the stage. At this point in my normal curtain speech, I'd be telling you about all of our upcoming events. But for now, we need to still keep our doors closed. But that being said, we have a lot of great virtual events like this one tonight, and uh, we're thinking about even planning an outdoor concert at some point. So please stay tuned, uh, be on our e-blast or on our website. But as you can imagine, we still have monthly ongoing expenses, so your support is needed probably now more than ever. Uh, please consider going on our page. It's www.acornlive.org. There's a banner right at the top that says Donate Today, and uh, we'd love your support. So that's www.acornlive.org, and it says Donate Today, and you can click right on that banner. So at this point, I'm going to introduce our first act on the stage in two months, over two months, Brian Lubeck. Brian, please come on the stage, and everybody at this point, let's clap. Ready? <laughs> Yay! All right, thank you very much. Oh, it is a thrill to be back on stage. Usually I am with the band, uh, but I have brought a proper social distancing drummer with me. That's going to be your kind of your new thing. Actually, the band and I have always tried to be socially distant from Nate, but uh, <laughs> for today we're going to make a little bit of an exception. We're excited to be back here. I've played here a couple of times, Sandra, and uh, you know the thing I love about it is that we've got. Um, you know, it's a great theater, it seats a bunch of people, but it's all intimate, like every single seat is kind of like you're in the front row of some major concert. So, I love it here, I'm glad that you had me back, and uh, let's get started with some music. Well, thank you for coming here and making us a special oh, You bet. All right, Brian, move back. All right, here we go. You ready, Nate? Thank you. 
me, Brian Lubeck, and Nate, our social distancing drummer, right behind me. Stay back. We are so excited to be here on the stage of the Acorn Theater. I've been here a couple of times performing, and I've I gotta tell you, I've played all over the place, all over the world, in fact, and uh, this is kind of one of those places that just feels like home when we come back, doesn't it, Nate? It's not just because of the snacks, either. It's, they are good, but we do love coming here and performing. Uh, the audience is great, the venue is great, and we can't wait to get an audience back here someday soon. Uh, but until then, uh, hopefully we can do a few more streams from the stage here. Um, and I do want to make sure that part of what, the reason that we wanted to do this was we wanted to remind people that even with all of the great things that we're discovering in the virtual world, Zoom and uh, conferencing and seeing family face-to-face -face, uh, at long distances, um, there are still places that we want to be able to come back to. And this is one of those. So a lot of our arts are suffering right now, as you can imagine. Um, and I think certainly there's going to be a lot of uh, folks that are vying for those grant dollars that I know are out there. And the Acorn is one of them. I'd like you to keep them at the top of your mind. Um, I think there's plans for us to maybe even do a, a, a fundraiser as well uh, in June. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. But until then, do what you can to support the arts and especially here at the Acorn. Nate, are you ready to play another team? What do you want to play? <laughs> I tell you what, uh, one of the tunes, I'm going to make a decision for you, Nate. See, he's not only socially distant, he's just distant, frankly. <laughs> so we're going to do one of the songs uh, that I think uh, a lot of you are familiar with. You've heard it on the radio, um, especially on the smooth jazz stations. I mean, obviously I'm not necessarily a jazz guitarist, but uh, that is the format that I get played on a lot. And this song was actually picked up by Microsoft for one of their product launches. Uh, this is a tune inspired by the vineyards in southwest Michigan. And this is a tune called Vineyard Groove. Are you ready for this one, Nate? All right, we brought the band with us for this one. We're going to do some acoustic stuff as well, like we did, but we'll, uh, we'll do some bigger tunes too. Okay, here we go. Vineyard Groove. Groove on.
about it, Sandra. Did she leave? <laughs> All right, good, good enough. Um, that was off the album Vineyard Groove. Um, like I said, that one was picked up by Microsoft for a product launch that was spectacularly awesome for me. Um, but I've been lucky enough to have a few tunes on the radio. Um, we have a new album, actually, that's going to be out in July, and we'll be hitting the radio waves there. Usually you'll hear me on Sirius XM, like Watercolors or something like that, but certainly uh, you know, we get millions of hits on Spotify and Pandora, so wherever you listen to music, just put in Brian Lubeck, B-R-Y-A-N, L-U-B-E-C-K, and you will see us. Um, and Nate, too, socially distant, playing in the background. All right, Nate, you want to do one off the new album? Yeah. Did you say yes? Yes. Louder? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're speaking distantly, too. All right, this one is called Invincible. Here we go.
soulful during that. There was one part of the solo where I did, but that was the only part. Uh, that is going to be off of our new, our new uh, album that's coming out in the, in the uh, summer. We'll be hitting the radio waves. You should be able to hear it. Uh, Sorry, everywhere the music is sold and listened to, you will be able to hear it. In fact, uh, any smooth jazz stations as well usually pick that up too. All right, would you like to hear another one? Yes. Sandra? Yes. <laughs> All right. I guess if it's more than two people, it's an audience, so yeah. And guess what? We've got like 60, 70 people uh, tuning in here. Welcome to the Acorn Theater. We are live on the stage right now in the Acorn Theater. If you've never been here, it's in Three Oaks, Michigan. It's a wonderful place. It's a beautiful place to play music. Um, top names, new names, all names in between have been here. So uh, I am more than honored to be playing on the stage. Normally you would see me with my full six, seven piece band, uh, but tonight it's just Nate and I, and we are, we're doing our thing for you. Um, you know, it's interesting, I, I, these times for musicians, I mean, obviously, it's devastating from a live performance perspective, uh, but there are some silver linings. You know, I think a lot of us are finding that uh, we love spending time with our families uh, more, uh, time with those that we love, whoever you're quarantining with, um, getting closer. There's those silver linings. I know I, for one, am starting to figure out stuff that I thought I needed, but I don't need. Um, and from a music perspective, you know, a lot of times I am with the band, right? And I'm supported by eight people, and not that I would get lazy, they are all top-notch musicians, but I might, you know, not play all the chords, right? I'll play my lead lines, because that's my job, but I let them kind of do their thing when they're jamming. Uh, but when you are alone, or even a duo on stage, you really have to um, revisit some of your songs that you've written. And uh, so I'm gonna revisit a few of my songs, oddly enough, and I, uh, this is an official name drop warning. So I was talking with Cheryl Crow about two weeks ago, and you know I, I asked her like, what's you know, we talk we talk about family and stuff like that, but you know what's really changed for you musically? And she said, you know, from a music perspective, I'm picking up my guitar a lot more and relearning tunes. And she actually started playing one of her tunes, and then uh, said she needed to practice more. She forgot the chords. I don't even remember what the song was. It was one that we would all know. But uh, she, um, she's an amazing musician. But again, all of us are finding new ways to rediscover and discover our art. So I'm going to sing uh, a tune uh, that I was on my first album ever. Uh, we're going to do uh, Raining in the Trees. Yeah. Giving him a fair warning. Uh, this song um, came at some really tough times for me. And uh, I was out jogging. Uh, I haven't done that recently, as you can tell, but I was out jogging, and uh, it had just been a rain, a rain pour, you know, it was just crazy rain. Then all of a sudden, you know those days when the sun like, comes out instantly and it stops raining. Well, I was out jogging, and I thought, okay, this is my chance. And I was running by um, some trees, a big stand of trees, almost a forest, and what was interesting is it was bright sun, sunshine out, but yet inside the forest, the rain was still kind of trickling through the leaves, and I kind of felt that way myself, personally, at the time. Um, you know, a, a lot of times you're happy on the outside, but uh, things are still processing, and you're still getting through them on the inside, and that's what this song is about. It's called Raining in the Trees. You ready, Nate? Yeah. Okay. Stars, pouring 
we are sitting here about, mm, what, 15 minutes from the beach. Now you think east coast, west coast. No, we are in uh, the middle of uh, the Midwest, and we are near Lake Michigan, which is 35 miles across. It's got beautiful beaches. Um, so this is a great place to come to hang out, and we are in a theater in Three Oaks, Michigan, called um, the Acorn Theater. All right, I better tune our doing this, because it's hot on stage, and I'm sure my guitar has been, been whining while I haven't been touching it. This is my classical Cordova. A little shout out to my sponsor, Cordova Guitars. They are good enough to send me some of the best guitars made in the world, and uh, I'm honored to play them. Here we go. All right, we are close. We are close to being tuned, eh? Oh, yeah. All right, this next tune is from the new album coming out in July called Midnight Sun. This is the title track, and I do love when I'm interviewed, and they say, hey, what inspires you? And I'm like, oh, the beach. And they're like, oh, we're, we're in California. I'm like, oh, no, Michigan, Southwest. Uh, this song is written uh, with that in mind. So Midnight Sun to me means I'm sitting on the beach. Uh, there is a full moon. The sun is reflecting off that moon, and even though it's midnight, it feels like it's daylight on the beach. So that's a fun time. That's where you feel chilled, yet you're, you're alive. So this tune is reflective of that midnight sun. You ready, Nate? Yep. Okay, let's see how this goes. Thank you. 
to check out some, hopefully we can allow us to see the comments. They are not coming up for me. Sandra, are you seeing any comments on your side? So it says, let's see. Margaret Thompson says, so very talented. It says, um, let's see. Uh, music, D D K Jones, music to and for our ears. Great new song. Um, let's see. Um, cannot wait for this new album. Great stuff. All right. So we've got a bunch of people. We've got somebody, Chris Falky from Plymouth, Indiana. Sweet. And Gary Stout. So it's the yeah. first, and then we've got somebody from Pennsylvania. Sweet. Yeah. yeah, everybody let us know where you're from. Just type it in, just whatever state, country, wherever you happen to be. Um, oh, we got St. Joseph, Michigan. Yep. Not too far. Um, thank you for donating, people. I see some folks that are donating. All right. Now, for some reason, it's not showing me all of the comments. I know we've got some. I see an angry face there. I just want to make sure, like, is the sound okay? Is the, you know. So if there are any issues, let us know. And we'll, we can work on sound and stuff. Hey, this is all, you know, one of the things that was interesting, I'm going to totally name drop again. Um, <clears throat> it's what I do. Um, but uh, what is interesting is once this all hit, you know, we all, like everybody, musicians, how do we get our music out there? And all of a sudden, uh, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to start streaming. Uh, we are going to, um, uh, we're going to try to reach out to the audience any way that we can. And um, this whole streaming thing is totally new to all of us. Sometimes it's hit or miss. I've had them go, great, the sound is great. I've had them be kind of fuzzy. Um, so who knows, right? Uh, but we are coming to you live from the small town of Three Oaks, Michigan, with a great big theater, uh, the Acorn Theater. All right, Nate, do you want to play some more here? Let's do that. Let us do that. Ooh, Louisville, Kentucky. All right. Napanee. Oh, hey, that's near my hometown. Thank you. 
my mistake. I hope so. I can take credits, though. I mean, I've heard of all my life, so it's fine. Uh, we are going to continue to play a little bit here for you. Uh, what time is it? I mean, I think, like, since there's no audience, nobody's got to get home to the babysitters. Like, that could go forever. What is it? 8.55. 8.55. All right. About an hour. Okay. We can go a few more minutes. I'll tell you what. Send me some thumbs up or some notes if you want us to go, uh, you know, in a half hour or so. Nate and I are ready. We've been ready all a lot. Right. All right. Um, I would like to do uh, a familiar tune, um, I think, to everybody. This is a tune that we started doing a couple years ago. I really like Yeah. Um, and it is, uh, you know what I want to tell you? The, I won't tell you the title. As soon as you know it, they'll put it in the comments section. And uh, the first person to guess this, Unless you've won this contest before, um, uh, we will. You send um, a private message to the Anchor Theater. We'll send you a T-shirt and a bunch of CDs. So, all right, here we go. Uh, this is a little tune, and, and uh, we normally, again, we normally do it with our whole band. So Nate and I are kind of making up the whole duo thing as we go. So I hope you like this. Uh, we are going to bring the band though with us in backing track. So this is actually going to be on the new CD as well. I don't think many people know that. Uh, but we went into the studio right before everything kind of went crazy, uh, thankfully, and we uh, got this song down. So it's going on the album. And again, if you know it, like, put it in there as soon as you hear it. We'll sneak in the melody. All right. <laughs>
got a bunch of people jumped in, but I think we have a winner. Okay, let's find out. All right. Otto Gonzalez, living on a prayer. Otto Gonzalez. Otto! Congratulations. He was the first one to get it. All right, excellent. Otto, private message. The, they can do that, right? Yeah, we... we All right, private yeah. message, no pictures. Uh, <laughs> the Acorn, the, the Acorn uh, uh, group there. Or, yeah. Uh, with your address, and we'll get that out the door. Uh, let us know where you are, too. Otto, I'd love to know uh, where you're from. Uh, next week, we do have another live stream. Uh, I don't think it'll be here, no, right? He's, he's from Canada. Oh, he's from Canada, so he's not getting across the border. Um, Ken Yates, oh, I know Ken Yates, uh, from Ontario, Canada. Um, he's going to be here again Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, well, we, I, think we saw, I think I saw some folks saying, hey, let's do, let, <laughs> I was like, what? I love that. Um, Otto, yeah. Oh, Bethany Griffin, Mitchell, yes, I prefer your version, I love that. All right. Hey, I've got some more music in here, what do you say, Nate? Eh? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to head back to my singer-songwriter roots. Now, a lot of the songs that are my most popular on the radio that are instrumental started off as vocal tunes. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, came, my first album ever was uh, an album called uh, Mysterious Woman. Do you remember that? I do. Nate's been with me a long time, if he remembers the mysterious, and played on the mysterious moment. They're uh, telling you, uh, yeah. your mic, is your mic on, off? Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I have just given away the uh, secret to world peace and a cure for whatever ails you. Sorry, you couldn't hear that. Um, it just came out. I don't remember what I said, Nate. Were you paying attention? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to head back to my singer-songwriter roots. Uh, my first album ever was a, a, an album called Mysterious One. Um, it was a vocal album. I hadn't really found my way with the, uh, uh, with the just doing instrumental music yet. Um, so I decided I would, you know, put, it was kind of like a bucket list. I'm just gonna do this album. I'm gonna say I did it, and that's it, right? Um, and I'm gonna put on there tunes that I've been writing for tens of years. Um, and uh, that's it. So I did that album, um, and uh, it, it, it got, you know, people liked it, it was good. Um, and then I decided to do an instrumental album, and uh, the instrumental album took off and sold, I don't know, 10, 20,000 copies. The vocal album that I did earlier sold around 83 copies. I think that's where we're hovering right now. Um, it's been a while since that album has been out, and I don't really sell it at shows anymore. It's kind of, you know, in my past, um, but it's all singer-songwriter stuff, and it's all mine. Um, and what was really interesting, Nate, I don't know if you know this, but um, I was tooling around the internet, this crazy thing you kids, Nate, have now. Uh, I was tooling around there, and I was on Facebook, and um, somebody sent me a note, and they said, um, that they had chosen, you know how you do these contests, people nominate you, I hate those, but I, I, I'm doing a couple myself. But, uh, but this was like, hey, name your top 30 most influential albums that kind of changed your life, sent you in different directions, you know, the, the ones that you go back to. And somebody put, I don't know this person, didn't know them before, they put Mysterious Woman as their, one of their top 30, um, which was crazy. So, um, maybe I'll start to do more singer-songwriter stuff. Um, I'm going to do something for you right now. This tune is a tune about friendship, and I think uh, a lot of us are going through some, some very difficult times, uh, and I think the thing to keep in mind when we're going through those times is that uh, we will come back. Um, we will uh, find our way. I'm totally optimistic about that. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be tough times. Um, and uh, one of the greatest things that I heard recently, so again, uh, sorry to name drop, I hate this, but, um, you know, crazy enough with Zoom and everything, I, you know, I, I've had conversations with Cheryl Crow. Last week I had a conversation with Seal. Um, and one of the things that he said that struck me was, you know, if, if you're not, you know, if, if you feel like things are, are still going crazy for you, you're just not through it yet, but you will get through it, and I believe that myself. And this song is really about that. This is about the fact that, you know, as bad as things are, you're not broken. 
Um, sometimes we just need somebody to pick us up and give us a little shine. And that's the uh, title of this tune. It's called A Little Shine.
sometime in the near future. We, we're kind of holding back on that because we've got the big instrumental one coming out and hitting the radio, so we don't want to confuse everybody. But uh, if you come to a live show, you can pick up that album, but it will be released digitally probably in six or seven months or so. All right. Nate, I'd like to do some more music. What do you think? Let's take a look. What's that? <laughs> no. Uh, I, Nate and I didn't plan to do a sock puppet show, uh, but we could not find clean socks. Um, what do you do? So, all right, let's take a look uh, here at uh, what we've got going on. Uh, Julia Lynn. Oh, Brian, I miss you in person. You're always amazing. Thank you, Julia. Where are you from, Julia? Where have you seen me? Stalker. Uh, Daniel, awesome song. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. Great, great stuff. All right, we're going to do, uh, we're going to get back to my more popular, uh, at least when it comes to commercial success, uh, Spanish guitar songs. Um, let's see, what do we have in our dock that we can do for everybody? Oh, I know what we can do. Um, how about we do, um, we're going to do the first song that I put on an instrumental album. And it's probably the first song that made it to the radio. Um, it's a, you know, the Spanish guitar, classic guitar is, um, <laughs> is a very romantic instrument. And uh, uh, I remember, this is a few years ago, I was in New York and I was hired to do a, um, it was a, I think it was a women in business um, type thing. And I, other than the waiters, I was the only guy there and I thought to myself, this is why I got into playing guitar. <laughs> no, it was great. I was happy to support them. I'm, you know, I was raised by my grandparents, and so I was surrounded by powerful and smart uh, women. And uh, I have the greatest respect. And it was a pleasure, you know. Now, it's always great to play in New York and some of the big cities because of the energy, but to be able to support um, to be able to support that kind of an event is, is pretty spectacular. And uh, I remember playing this tune. This was, the, this was one that they just thought was the greatest ever. And I thought, you know, I should play this more often and put it in a show. And so we play it almost every show, don't we? All right. This is a tune called Harlequin Romance. It's basically an entire romance book in 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Here we go. We're going to bring the band back for us. <laughs> Thank you. 
outstanding. Hey, and I say outstanding not because Microphone. of what I just played. Microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and you say I have a microphone in front of me all the time. So outstanding, I said, not because of what I just played, but because of our donors here, uh, Michelle Rumza, Bob Cunningham, and Steve Wadley. Thank you so much for doing your part to keep this place here for when we can all be here. Um, it's no small feat to keep a place like this going, even if you're filling the seats uh, every night. Uh, so do your part, and I thank, thank you to those that did. Again, if you want to make a donation, I believe it's in the chat here, uh, but it's all, um, it's all uh, um, at www.acornlive.org. I will learn that. Okay, uh, somebody did make a request, Mono Caliente, I just did it. Dang it, you missed it by that much. Um, all right, what can we do? Um, oh, Scarlett, my 10-year-old daughter just texted me. She wants a new bike. Okay. Yeah, she does, actually. But uh, All right, let's see what else we've got here. Um, you know what? I'd like to do another one from the new album. Nate? All right. Make me not do it. Oh. Uh, no, I know. You won't challenge me. All right. Let's do, uh, this is a little tune called Sundress because we are getting into the sunny season and uh, I think it's time. This is kind of our summer theme tune uh, that will be released at, at summertime. And again, it's called Sundress. Um, this is a fun one. You ready, Nate? Yes, sir. Okay.
donor. Thank you, Dan uh, Lionheart. Len, uh, you know what? I know him, and I should know better. Um, I don't think I've ever pronounced your last name to your face. So um, this is a first. Catherine Manning. Oh, thank you very much for donating. All right. We have a couple of songs left. Um, I will leave it up to you. Do you want to hear more Spanish guitar? Would you like to hear a couple of uh, singing tunes or both? So put it into the chat here. I'm going to keep an eye on here while I retune. It's a little hot on the stage. My guitar is not used to being on the stage. It's been a couple of months. It's kind of overheating. Again, put it in the chat here. Do you want uh, a couple more Spanish guitar? Do you want vocal? Sandra, you don't get to vote. What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him out. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to. I cannot drink while I play, or it's a disaster. But I'm I'm drinking water, so I'm going to raise my glass. Let's chink together. I've got a couple of um, uh, tunes coming up. Let's see what people want to hear. Let's see here. Enjoy a night on the beach with friends. Be the acorn. Yeah. Go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to name drop, but I went to school with Brian Lubeck. I love that. That a lot. I so love that. Uh, let's see. All right. Here we go. Oh, love that tune. Oh, we've got some. Oh, more Spanish. What do we want to hear, folks? Okay. Laura Madsen Jolly wants to hear some more Spanish guitar. Nate? Oh, uh, let's see, what should we do? You know what, um, I haven't done it in a while, but are you up for doing um, Rep for Lens? Yeah, that's a, that's a blast from the past. My son, Rhett, <clears throat> uh, he did not sleep through the night until he was three years old. So I would do my best to play guitar in his room and try to get him to go to sleep, and I wrote this tune. It's a very odd lullaby because you hear, it's not your normal like, oh, he's not going to sleep at any moment. No, you have to like grab the kid, you know, <laughs> get him, say, calm down, then he kind of almost falls asleep, then he wake up again. So this song is like me trying to grab him and, uh, not physically, uh, but emotionally, grab him with the music and kind of calm him down, put him back to sleep as we try to get him to finally fall asleep. He never did. I think he's still up right now. All right, here we go. Rhett, relax.
audience more Spanish guitar? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's French guitar. <laughs> I don't do that in private company. <laughs> All right, so one more. Um, luckily, I am not falling asleep, but this is sure soothing. Actually, it's kind of funny because I, I've had uh, a lot of people kind of sheepishly uh, comment to me at shows of like, oh, my kids love your music. And I'm like, oh, really? And I'm thinking, wow, I'm hitting the young crowd. They're like, yeah, I couldn't fall asleep to it. And you know what? I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I think, uh, um, you know, one of the tunes off Acoustic Vineyard, which I think is probably the best falling asleep album of mine, Acoustic Vineyard, uh, there's a tune called Flamen or, uh, um, uh, what is it called? Oh, Flamenco Island. Can't remember my own tunes. Um, I think we're up to, uh, we're within like 30,000 listens, which we will get probably in the next couple of months to a million uh, on, just on Spotify alone for that. Um, that's a good one. I, as long as people are listening, I'm okay if they're falling asleep. So uh, just be careful. You know, if you get a drink with you, just protect that drink. You don't need that spill. Okay. Um, this one is uh, one that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm going to play a cover. I don't play many cover tunes. I did a few tonight. I played Jesse, uh, Jesse from, jo what is the name, Joshua Castle. Um, love that tune. Um, played the Bon Jovi one. And this one is actually from my favorite artist. It'll be the last tune we play tonight, but I think it is so apropos for what we're all going through together. This is, this is one of those situations that I, I was talking with a, a bunch of folks last week. Um, this is the great equalizer, you know? I mean, this, everybody is dealing with the same thing. And I, like I said, you know, I, I love what Seal said to me, which was, you know, if, if you're still hurting, if you're still moving forward, you will get there and we will all heal together. I love that. So if we're still hurting, it just means we're not there yet. Um, this tune, I think, highlights something in a different way. Um, it talks about how fragile we are, but I also know how strong strong we are. We will bet we don't break. Um, but this is by one of my favorite artists. His name is Sting. Let's see whether I can. There we go. You ready for this name?
today. We have some more donors. David uh, Godin, or Gotti, Margaret Thompson, thank you so much. Uh, message from... Hey, I can do one more too. <laughs> message from Sandra Thompson. Who's that? Who knew? She's the one holding me. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. So happy to see you. She's social distancing by making me say her words for her. I love this. So happy to see you playing live on the Eucharist stage. You are one handsome devil, is what she also wrote right there in the fine print. All right, well, again, next Thursday, come back here. You will see some great talent. Uh, again, at 8 p.m., right here on the Acorn Theater page. Again, I, I got to tell you, it's such a thrill to play on the stage. We certainly wish there were folks in the audience. However, uh, we know that we will be back together soon. Until then, uh, let's do our best. I'm going to do my best to make sure that places like the Acorn Theater uh, remain viable so that when we can't get together, we will be together right here enjoying some live music. Again, acornlive.org. Feel free to donate. Uh, and certainly, you know, I, I'm, I would be more than thrilled if you streamed me on Spotify or iTunes or Google or whatever you use to listen to music. Certainly look me up. Uh, again, it's Brian Lubeck, Brian with a Y, L-U-B-E-C-K. I would love to uh, keep you company during your day or put your kids to sleep. Uh, so one of those two. All right, have a great night. Uh, we are going to give you a little roundabout view of the theater, and then we'll sign off for the night. All right, take care, be safe, hope to see you soon. Nate says thank you in a very socially distant way. There we go. Just so that you don't forget what we look like here in the theater. We would like to see you right here sometime very, very soon. Until then, please support the theater in any way that you can. But for now, this is Brian Lubeck, Sandra Thompson, Nate Lackney, and the Acorn Theater signing off. Have a great night.